Now you're wondering whether or not you should invest in a Hyperice Normatec 3. Stick around to help you better decide whether or not you should invest in one, or maybe it's just not for you. Now, I do understand that I have my phone here. It's just a reminder of the topics of discussion I'd like to convey over to you guys because I do forget certain things, so please bear with me. Also, the product that I'm about to review is not sponsored by Hyperice or Normatec themselves. It's upon my own accord. It's not paid ad also. This video is not a paid ad. Basically, I'm not sponsored for doing this product review or this video. In some ways, you can categorize this as a reliable source, and I'm not trying to sell you guys anything, right? So with that being said, I believe one of the most important things about this is the sizing. To let you guys know, it was a gift. It was a gift, a Christmas gift, and I've been using it since. So I didn't buy it myself. And I'm saying all of that to say the sizing on High Price's website itself, it disclaims that they have intuitive compression boots or intuitive technology. Uh, I believe in a nutshell, what they're trying to say is that it will contour to your legs or, well, in this case, it's, it is a compression boot. So it's gonna, conform to your leg size just so it's transparent and as clear as possible i am roughly five nine five ten and these fit perfectly especially once it's on and, and the machine is doing its thing it's beginning to compress and conform to my low extremities fantastic haven't had any issues so in that regard of sizing just i would say just ensure that your sourcing is reliable and you have that money back guarantee because anything can happen so now that that's out of the way let's explain as to why i why i have one in the first place so a bit of background i am a professional basketball player wow 5'10", 5'9", yes, it does happen. I play professional basketball over in Southeast Asia, all across Southeast Asia, mainly Philippines and Thailand. I do miss those beautiful places. But so yeah, so that that's why I bought it. Uh, second reason as to why is because I'm currently rehabbing my knee tendinopathy. I believe it's previously known as patellar tendinitis. I mean, you can categorize it or you can label it as such jumper's knee even. And those are the main two reasons as to why professional athlete knee tendinopathy tendinopathy two and two equals you should probably get it or probably invest in one so those are the main two reasons as to why i personally opted for it was gifted but i did drop subtle hints as to me possibly getting one now to get into the gist of everything the nitty gritties the pros let's flat out talk about the pros why they're amazing so i believe the number one thing for me is that you can do other things while the machine does its work and what i mean by that is for example i could be brainstorming or i could be watching something or i could be reading a book if if you're journaling even so let, let's let's take reading a book as an example if you want to catch up on your reading then the normatec you just literally need to slip on the compression boots and you're good to go you can set it to 30 minutes you can set it to an hour even or you can re-loop the 30 minute cycles or the one hour cycles and you're good to go. You, you can focus or you can direct your focus on different things you need to get through in the day. That's one of the great reasons to pick or to opt for this compression boot. Let's just call them a Normatec for review purposes. And so another reason as to why this Normatec is fantastic is because it allocates time to your recovery, given that you guys are actually giving time to recover. Because as a parent myself and an adult, basically, or let's let's move those two variables out of the way and just focus on athletes and, and sporting itself. If you allocate time to your recovery, then this is the perfect, if not one of the perfect tools to allocate to the recovery and having the recovery boots themselves remind you that, oh wait, I actually have these boots. So let me leave spaces and moments in 
my day to focus and allocate recovery time so that's also another pro as to why these are fantastic allocating time is essential especially for a pro athlete or i would say if you if you take it seriously and that leads me on to this next point it reminds you to take your recovery seriously so aside from allocating time to recovering taking recovery seriously this implements another step in guaranteeing that you're actually doing the correct recovery work. Not to say that this itself is correct, but garnering that approach towards taking recovery seriously, this is probably a great step into doing so right although sometimes your mind will fluctuate and for example if you have the boots and then you're watching a, a movie you've still somewhat given your body that time to recover that's great as well allocating time recovering taking recovery seriously so allocating time taking recovery seriously and you're able to do other things probably one of the most i wouldn't say controversial the hype around all of this pneumatic research is that it's there right and it's it's in the market right now so it's kind of backed by pneumatic compression research and that's that's a plus right because as athletes as sports people i'm assuming you guys are let me actually just talk about myself as a pro athlete every little edge helps every 0.5 to 1 percent every little modality that you implement will help you better your i don't know recovery time your pbs or whatever you intend to improve as an overall goal in your journey as an athlete it is backed by research given that the research is somewhat in its infancy at the moment and a lot of the research is subjective and yeah you could say you could make the argument that a lot of the research is not direct but it's even though it's indirect what am i trying to say there's research as a whole there is compounding research gradually it's it's improving as we speak so you get to do other things while your body's recovering or your legs in this case you allocate time to recovering you take recovery seriously and it's backed by pneumatic research so those are the pros of picking up this normatech and now we delve into the cons of this normatech device and i believe the elephant in the room is obviously the price otherwise why make this video if it's easily accessible for the masses right so the price of this machine device is substantial and there's no arguing that it is an investment. Your average Joes, right? They're, they're gonna think twice the funds to do it. I'm just trying to say that the price is an issue, right? Believe it or not, it is an issue for, for the majority of people, right? And it's not something that you should be taking lightly because the last time I checked, it was near enough $900. To put it this way, there is better things you can spend $900 or 899 pounds on so the price all right and factoring in my lifestyle and what i use it for uh the price for me was it just is what it is it's something i had to deal with or i have to deal with right even though it's a gift i was going to get them myself anyways so that's one of the cons it is you could look at it as being overpriced but if you live a healthy active lifestyle right and you're not just doing this just to do it or if you follow a regimen and you take your health seriously or your well-being is top of your priorities then by all means i don't find a ceiling on price yes there are certain things that will have you dumbfounded it is your well-being after all right that is a con the price is just ridiculous secondly a reason why you shouldn't invest or think about investing in this is also a pro in itself in that time or time management not everyone has that luxury to set aside an hour or two because if you really think about all the factors needed to use a normal tech especially myself being a new parent parenting scene <laughs> and just adulting life in general more so professional sports life allocating time and having that time for example you set aside an hour to use a normal tech it still takes roughly 15 minutes to set everything up to get in and out of the normal tech and to if you're like myself put everything away organize a little bit so an hour of your time is really if you want to have that great recovery session to yourself and be mindful of everything you need to get sorted 
then an hour really is two hours of your time. So time management is also a variable that you need to consider when purchasing one of these. Price, time, and the final one for me is the sanitary aspect. So the cleanliness aspect after exercise in general, you aren't the most sanitary. It's easy to fall into the habit of having a practice, a workout session, sweating it all out, and then just jumping into the Norma Tech boots. And over time, it does compound and it doesn't really become sanitary, especially on a hot summer's day. It can get sweaty in there. So those are my top three issues when dealing with a Norma Tech device. Outside of those three issues being price, time management, and overall sanitary topics or sanitization, I think charging it is okay for me because I keep it charged on the dock or I keep the charging wire close by so that really isn't an issue. I haven't had to transport it anywhere because I have a certain space or a recovery room. I'm fortunate enough to have a recovery room where it just stays in one place and all I need to do is keep it organized. That for me is not, not anything I need to worry about. I think for me the boots have helped in the knee tendinopathy aspect of what I'm trying to recover. I'm able to play my sport, I'm able to recover. If you guys are looking for an alternative, I would suggest that you guys check out a Theragun Pro. Again, I'm not getting paid to do any of this stuff. I'm just speaking completely anecdotally. If I was to pick out of three modality or recovery tools, them being a compression boot such as a Normatec, a Theragun Pro, a percussive gun which is backed by science in itself, or a run-of-the-mill foam roller. I personally, and this is not me talking nonsense to you guys, I personally would opt for a foam roller. Above all three, and this is saying a lot because foam rollers are inexpensive, portable, should you buy a portable type or a foam roller which you can transport in and out of wherever you need to be. And foam rollers you don't really need to worry about the, the sanitary aspect so what i would say is that whatever you're getting from a compression boot you can somewhat get and reap the benefits of in a foam roll i understand that people make the mistake of once they have compression boots they substitute that and just replace the compression boots and take out all other aspects of recovery and personally the best form of recovery the two best forms of recovery are all, always 100% going to be diet and rest in sleeping correctly and sleeping optimally. So compression boots, these Normatex, these Normatex boots are a, I would say a complementary additive to your overall training regime. Your lifestyle should complement these boots. These boots shouldn't be a solve it all product right because that's that's the mindset i want you guys to understand that it's not going to solve anything you need to take the steps to recovering and you need to what am i trying to say you need to pretend that you don't have them these are just an additive or these are just a nice thing for lack of a better term to have in the arsenal of your recovery tools so that being said, should you buy them? I mean, that's completely to your discretion, right? I've given you all the information that I have, I possess, and my experience with them. I hope this has helped you guys. And if it has helped you, consider subscribing. If you like this type of content, let me know in the comments below. A like, a dislike, those are great metrics for me to check in the analytics. And I would say as a final piece of advice for this piece of tech is that if you're on two minds whether or not to buy it and you're on a fence on investing in, a, in this type of recovery tool then it probably isn't the best option for you. Two minds in anything always sprouts doubt. Be assertive in what you, what you consider helpful for you, for you and your current situation because everyone's situation is different so if you're on two minds it's probably not the best time for you to get them. I hope this has helped and let me know if it has. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.